The next verb is, ooh, this one is good. Tener éxito, éxito. Remember the accent mark on top of the letter E? It's very important. Otherwise, it says éxito. Éxito means something else. Éxito means uh, I <laughs> turn... <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're talking about it, getting excited, but in, um, <laughs> you know, a sexual way to turn, to turn on someone. <laughs> so remember, remember the accent mark. It's important <laughs> because otherwise it means something else. Accent marks can change the meaning of words. So <laughs> we got to pay attention to that. Okay. Tener éxito, éxito, okay? That means to be successful or to succeed. When you're succeeding at, I don't know, doing something, whatever you're doing, right? To be successful, tener éxito. That's what this phrasal verb means. Uh, tener means to have. Éxito means success. Éxito um, means success. Remember that. Okay. Example number one. Oops. Para tener éxito hay que trabajar duro. Para tener éxito Hay que trabajar duro. What does this mean? <laughs> it's a long phrase. It's a long sentence. It's quite long. This means you have to work hard to be successful or to, to succeed. Either one. Okay. To be successful, to succeed. Same thing. Uh, in Spanish. Tener éxito. Para tener éxito. This is an interesting, a really interesting structure right here. Because we're saying para tener éxito. We're saying to be successful. So we, we can place uh, para tener éxito at the beginning. Or you can have it at the end of the phrase. So you can say, para tener éxito hay que trabajar duro or hay que trabajar duro para tener éxito. So very flexible. The sentence can be very flexible. Hay que, I is a very peculiar word that uh, means there is, there are. But in this situation, it's similar to saying um, you have to, okay? I know it doesn't make m much sense, but hay que is like saying you have to do something. In this case, trabajar, okay? Work and then duro, duro. <laughs> duro means hard, okay? Duro. And we're talking, it can be literally hard, something hard like bread. For example, el pan está duro. The bread is hard because it's old bread. Or when you need to do something hard, you need to work hard. Trabajar duro. Okay? This is quite interesting. Hay que, just remember this, these two words, hay que. Hay que, very similar. That's very similar to saying you have to or we have to, okay? Um, for example, I can say, hay que comer rápido. We have to eat fast, okay? Hay que, hay que comer rápido. We have to eat fast for whatever reason. In this situation, we're talking about working. You have to work. Hay que trabajar Duro, hard, okay? Hay que can refer to you have or we have, okay? 
So hay que. So it's just an action. You're, you're asking for an action. Okay, excellent. This is very good. Um, obviously, the verb is here. Tener éxito, para tener éxito. Uh, to be successful, to succeed. And it's right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right here. Yeah. <coughs> very interesting. Let's look at the next example. Oops. Always, always. I just have to uh, do some shortcuts here <laughs> to get things going, to <laughs> make things happen. <laughs> hagas lo que hagas. Sé que vas a tener éxito. So this is another complex phrase or sentence. Hagas lo que hagas. Hagas lo que hagas. This is a very good phrase too. Hagas lo que hagas. Sé que vas a tener éxito. Éxito. This means no matter what you do, I know you're going to be successful or to succeed. I know you're going to succeed. Okay? So either one. Hagas lo que hagas. Hagas lo que hagas is a very common phrase that people say. Hagas lo que hagas. Okay. Hagas lo. This is a very good phrase to remember. This means no matter what you do. Okay. Hagas lo que hagas. Hagas lo que hagas. No matter what you do. Sé. Se, yo sé, is like saying yo sé. Once again, we don't need a pronoun here. Yo sé, I know. Or sé, que. In this situation, it's like saying I know that. Sé que, yo sé que. Very commonly said in Spanish. It's like saying I know that, 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 that. Uh, vas a. You are going to tener éxito, be successful, to be successful, okay? So very, very important to know how this sentence works so you understand Spanish, okay? Hagas lo, lo que hagas, sorry, I was going to cough. Hagas lo que hagas, no matter what you do. Hagas lo que hagas is like saying... No matter what you do, uh, do anything that you do. It does like in this situation, it's like saying it, no matter what you do. Uh, but hagas lo que hagas. Uh, it's like saying tú hagas lo que tú hagas. <laughs> doing what you're doing. It's similar to saying that it doesn't make much more. It doesn't make much sense, but it's very similar to saying no matter what you do. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm.